Rural towns ravaged by health care and job losses with latest nursing home closures. Case of Legionnaire's disease investigated at an Ohio nursing home, and nursing homes are happy to be left out of the Certificate of Need repeal. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When Minnesota's Twin Valley Living Center closed late last year, it took with it dozens of beds intended for the town's frail and elderly. But as with hundreds of other scaled care communities around the country, the nursing home also was reaffirmed as being more than a residence. With 58 jobs in play, it was also one of the town's largest employers. When a store closed, spending at the local pharmacy and the Main Avenue hardware store, among other establishments, also declined. Residents and policymakers alike are hoping to demonstrate to state lawmakers that blows to rural nursing homes also can be devastating hits to entire towns and therefore supporting nursing homes with adequate funding is a worthy investment. Care Providers of Minnesota reports that 31 of 41 Minnesota nursing homes have had closed since 2007 and they have been rural locations, communities with populations of 20,000 or less. Overall, the state has dropped from 45,700 beds in 1995 to 28,486 in 2018. Many have remained open, have downsized or closed off units. Health officials say a resident of a central Ohio nursing home recently contracted Legionnaire's disease and they're working to pinpoint the source and identify additional residents for testing. A statement from Country View of Sunbury says it has taken precautions to protect residents as it works with health officials to determine whether Legionella bacteria are within the facility, located in Delaware County, about 25 miles northeast of downtown Columbus. The nursing home wouldn't provide information about the affected resident's condition, citing privacy concerns. Legionnaires is a severe form of pneumonia caused by inhaling water droplets containing the bacteria. The Delaware General Health District says that the nursing home is restricting water use to reduce potential exposure from features such as shower heads and faucets. We'll be back right after this break. What's my daddy on the news? This is my daughter. Her name is Izzy Henning. She's two years old. Mm, I don't know that. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Healthcare's jobs growth rate stood at two. I'm looking forward to working with you to this make This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. Watch my daddy on the news. <laughs> Florida last week repealed the certificate of need process once required to build new hospitals or add medical services, but officials left in place pre-approval rules for nursing homes and other facilities. The final outcome was a victory for the Florida Healthcare Association, which strongly advocated against killing CONs for long-term care providers. CON programs have fallen out of favor in many places. In 1982, every state except Louisiana had a CON program with broad regulatory rules for hospitals, skilled nursing and intermediate care facilities, kidney dialysis centers, and ambulatory surgery centers. But a federal model that initially sparked interest in the process was repealed during the Reagan administration. Now, all but 16 states have since done away with CON entirely, according to a 2019 chart produced by the National Conference of State Legislators. Three states have replaced CON with similar approved programs. Other states have outright moratoriums on new nursing home construction. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.